In this video, I'll show you how to programmatically blink an LED on a Beagle Bone blackboard. If you follow these instructions step by step, you should have the LED blinking in less than 5 minutes. These instructions are for Windows computers, but should also work for other operating systems. First, you will need to connect the Beagle Bone Black to your computer and wait for it to be recognized. This may take a few seconds. You know the board is recognized when the pop-up autoplay window appears. At this point, you can browse the content of the Beagle Bone Black, but make sure that you don't make any changes. The Beagle Bone Black has a built-in web interface that allows us to control the available pins, including the LEDs. This interface, called Cloud9, is hosted internally at the default address 192.168.72 port 3000. Use Chrome or Firefox browsers to open this web interface. Do not use Internet Explorer as it may not work. Once the Cloud9 IDE opens, please make sure your interface does not look like this image. If you see a circle in the upper left area of the screen next to Cloud9, then you may have a corrupted version of the IDE. Sometimes, watching instructional video may corrupt the Cloud9 IDE. I provide instructions on how to fix the IDE in another video. On the Cloud9 IDE, do a right click on Cloud9 and choose New Folder. Name the new folder Blink LED. Then right click on the new folder and choose New File and name the new file BlinkLED.js. Then double click on the new file and this file will open in the right area of the IDE. Type the program that you see on the screen. You can copy and paste it from the description of the video. After you enter the text, click on the green button debug and watch the LED start blinking. Only one LED should start blinking at one second intervals. You can stop and start the execution of the program by clicking the debug stop button. Also, you can set breakpoints in the program by clicking to the left of the line where you want the breakpoint set. During the execution of a program, when a breakpoint is reached, the execution stops at that line and then it can be continued at the user's choice. Also, at that point, the values of available variables can be checked. In my experience, I had some issues with breakpoints on Windows 7, but they work perfectly fine on Windows XP systems. At this point, you should have this program ready and the LED blinking. If it does not, please review your steps. Now that you've broken the ice, you can experiment with your own programs. Good luck.